Welcome back to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City, broadcasting to you live. So, uh, we are setting up my sister Chloe's uh, profile. Uh, Casey says, sorry, I'm a fan from way back. I know Sierra, but who's the other host? This is my sister Chloe. The resident skinny bitch right? from uh, back in the day. Sweet Cheeks is still around, but she's not here this evening. Uh, Calypso's not with us anymore. Uh, we have two new hosts, Casey, that you probably don't know if you're from way back in the Calypso days. Uh, we have Desiree, the oh shit, the famous Desiree Divine, porn star, fabulous, and uh, Toxie, who is in California on a uh, field trip with her daughter. So we are filling out your OK, not OK Cupid. Don't distract me with OK Cupid, you chatters. This is plenty <laughs> of fish. Uh, we are on question number 86. After oh. having answered 73 previous questions. Oh, my God. 1 through 73, we are now on 1 through 80, 1 through 100, and we're on 86. We only have 14 more to go. I like for my partner to touch me when he or she walks by. Uh, somewhat like me. I feel secure when my partner is touching me. I don't really care. I don't know. I need to be touched every day. Nope. No. I like to take long walks with my partner. I don't like walking. <laughs> I like to go places with my partner. A kind of. <laughs> I feel close when we are talking or doing something together. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I enjoy extended trips with my partner. I, like, I do like road trips. I do like, I like to receive notes of affirmation from my partner. Love notes. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of? Okay. I I've only my... received one and it was, hey, you weren't awake when I left. I'll be back soon. Love you. No, I remember when you were dating South Carolina guy and he totally covered your car with all the candy that you like and little notes and all that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That Ooh. was pretty awesome. Yeah. And then he broke up with me 10 times in two and a half years. <laughs> yeah. I love you. You two were the very definition of that. We're never of that hot and cold song. He's hot and he's cold. He's yes and he's no. Right. He's in and he's out. Yeah. I'm breaking just... up with you because you're too jealous. I miss your jealousy. I love my partner's praise and try to avoid his or her criticism. Uh, I don't. I mean, I like praise, but criticism can be okay as long as it's constructive. I like my partner to compliment my achievements. Yeah. I need my partner's words of affirmation daily. Nope. Nope. I feel loved when I received a gift from my partner. Hell yeah! <laughs> I like presents. Visible symbols of love, gifts are very important to me. Uh, mm. no. I mean, they're kind of. I want, I like stuff. I like <laughs> receiving gifts that my partner makes. Yes. Those are the best. And the last question, supposedly, I feel loved when my partner celebrates my birthday with a gift. Absolutely, because nobody acknowledges my birthday, really. My birthday goes, except for you, you don't count. You don't count. Okay. Chop liver. I'm just going to get my, a tattoo that says chop liver. Like right here. Chop my liver. My pregnant ass this last birthday stayed in bed crying until 5 p.m. when I was scheduled to go to my birthday dinner because nobody else on the face That's of the planet weird. asked me what I wanted to do all day. Okay. Let's uh, let's put your password in here. Boobs. Boobs. Check me out. So your uh, thing needs assessment. Your, what does it say? Relationship needs assessment. I don't what? Know. This is another fucking thing. Oh my God. How, How many, many questions? questions is this? This one's also 100. No, we already did this. I don't want to redo it. It took us forever to do it. It made us go back all over again. No, fuck that. Do we have to do it? No, we don't need to do it. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do it again. So. Uh, you eleven view eleven users have already viewed your profile. Nice. Let's see who's viewed your profile already. Plenty I of. I wish fish. we could show this on the thing. We can. It's just crazy. Uh, you cannot. I have dated him. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because he's a douchebag. No. Oh, okay. Um. Thanks he's for... kind of cute. He is pretty cute. And you know, I saw this. He's totally, full of himself. He's kind of hot. I saw this totally urban looking guy today, which was adorable when I was in Savers. He was looking at the jewelry counter. So he may have been gay. I think I dated this guy too. But you never know. But he was ador he like his shirt and his shorts didn't match and then he was wearing like the old school douche bands. Bag, douche bag, douche bag, douche bag. Right? Oh no, wait, he's in front of a oh no 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 no. You need to date him. Yeah. He's an audiovisual guy. 
I think I've dated tech. him before. You think so? No, probably not. He he's just an... looks like a guy I dated in high school that had Tourette's. He's an AV guy. Did he look at me? The yeah. other guy looks like he just got done sneezing. <gasps> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Better out. than just got done pooping. Entertainment purposes. Caucasian Libra. What's up with that creepy picture of him laying on the couch like, come <laughs> fuck me, baby. That's a crazy I think he's thing. short, too. He does look a little. Wait, no, no, wait. That's Where did awesome. It say? Five foot seven. No, he's normal. 31. Nice. He's taller than anybody Broder on here is taller than seeking a relationship or any kind of commitment. Oh, he's looking for a booty call. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. I have higher standards and higher self-confidence. Uh, let's see. Oh, you have four new messages already? The hell is messages this? Messages or m- matches? I don't know. What is that? Uh, I'm new to this. I have not d- been on a dating profile in years. It's been a long years. time since I've been on it, too. Messages. There we go. Down there. Messages. You do have four messages already. So, let's see what Marcus has to say. Marcus. I remember it has to say happy puppies. It does. Uh, oh, god damn. Mm, the help... Oh, the, oh! This is the guy who owns. I, I, I created POF to help people like you find someone. Oh, thank you, Marcus. Yeah, thanks, Marcus. Um, you know, I can't completely knock Plenty of Fish because Plenty of Fish is actually where I met Nick, mm-hmm. and Nick was a very good guy he up was. until the moment he told me to choose between him and my best friend. Yeah, and you kind of made the wrong decision. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what? are normal piercings these days. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. A.K.A. not my clitoris or my tatas. Ha-ha. Just my lip. Ears. And belly button. And belly button. I did used to have my tits pierced. Just you don't saying. have to say that. Twice. You don't have to say that. No, okay. I'm not going to say that. Uh, let's see. Wow. Oh, woo Actually, woo. it's woo woo. Woo woo. Oh, oh, one. We're just so you know, woo we're woo? letting people know what your username is. Uh, hello. M. Nick, how are you? Want to chat? I have pics. Don't even respond to yeah, that. Yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, let's see. I don't care if you have pics or not. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go. Next message. I think that we're putting the people at home asleep right now. No, I don't think so at all. What else are we going to talk about? The Duggars? <laughs> and uh, Barbecue Grillmaster 15. Hell yeah. Yeah. We need to date. I like food. Hello. Hello, Grillmaster. Hello, Grillmaster. Call me Grasshopper. <laughs> Hell, Grillmaster. Hell, Grillmaster. Hell. Hell. <laughs> what you been doing? Okay. Well, Go hell, ahead. get me a burger. So we've set you up at least on plenty of fish. Cool. So am I going to have to deal with any of this? No. Except I'll, for going I'll, on dates? I'll check it all for you. Okay, cool. Because I'm really bad at that. Well, we can always download the app for your phone. Uh, Yeah, except for my phone doesn't have enough storage to download any apps, even though I only have four <laughs> on there. <laughs> Maybe get rid Stupid of your pictures. iPhone. All right. Let's leave this up. Let's see what else comes up for you. Cool. We're gonna leave it up. Yeah. Uh, fine. That guy singles. looks like Elvis. Oh, you want to meet him? Nope. You sure? Yep. He looks like a lot of fun. Maybe. Mm. We might have to take a break. <laughs> Why you have to go pee? No. <laughs> you have to go poop. <laughs> you have to go upstairs, and I don't know where the bathroom is upstairs. Okay, never mind. I'll hold it for two hours. No. No. <laughs> He's just looking for a friend. <laughs> Former yeah. chef. Yep. Hell yeah. For, oh, he's got two beers in his hand. But he's at a... Uh, Party. Yeah. yeah. Fun-loving tattooed optimist. Yep. I like an optimist. Mm-hmm. I don't care about the tattooed. I know you don't care. Living the dream. Uh, he looks like he might have PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> he owns guns. 
Yeah, but he's holding it like oh, this. Oh, and he wants a relationship. And he's so. holding the he's holding the machine gun looking thing like this. Well, that is an M sixteen and that's the proper way to hold it so you don't shoot somebody. With a pansy hand? What's well, because it's way up high. No? No. No. Alrighty. Uh, we would love to chat about whatever it is you want to chat for. Is urban the new code, code word for black? Yes, urban is the new code word for black. Is it really? I didn't I know no that. Idea. Oh, I uh, was going to say. Says, I know Desiree always thought she'd make a great cast member of Orange is the New Black. She could smack down Black Cindy. Yes, she could smack down Black Cindy. She could. Apparently, I'm missing Cindy. something. Oh, I don't yeah. really follow the Orange is the New Black You thing. need to log into my Netflix and watch it. It's fabulous. I've watched a couple Season of episodes. Season three's coming I, up soon. I don't knock it. I thought it was a good show when I watched it, but I'm not one of those people that I feel like I'd have to watch it religiously. Yeah. But I did like the few episodes that I saw. So, uh, do any of our listeners have uh, anything they want us to talk about? Hey, Tim Fennell is in. Hey, Tim. Hi, is Tim. It... It's Fennel, isn't it? Is it Fennel or... It's Fennel. Fennel. It's not the spice. He's not a spice boy. Uh, giving it we another still need try. To make those... What do you think of this guy? Fennel cheesy crackers. Ah, I feel like I've met him before. I feel like I've met him too. I feel like he's a goofball. I feel like he could be a lot of fun. I feel like he could be a lot of fun too. Yes. Yeah. Is it weird that, I mean, how can you look at someone and think they're going to be a lot of fun? Because they're doing this in a picture. Facial expressions. Oh, you have three new messages already. Oh, Holy uh, balls. Oh, snap, son. How much fun is this for you guys? If that doesn't make me feel good about myself. Right? Okay, let's see. Uh, Italiano dude 71. That's the dude I said looked like Elvis. Looks like Elvis. Look likes. Hi, how are you? Do you want to message him? Great. I'm all shook up. <laughs> Great, comma. Has anyone ever told you you look like Elvis? I'm all shook up. Has anyone ever told you? You know you sound like a nerd, right? You look like Elvis. Told you you. Told you. Comma, you look like Elvis. Comma, you look like Elvis. I sound like a nerd because of that? I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Is that a horrible pickup line, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm all shook hey, up. Hey, <laughs> hey. All right. I'm Wowza. Bad at, I'm bad at whoa. <laughs> I thought those kinds of pictures got your account deleted. It's not sexual. But it is a... But I just came. Torso <laughs> barbecue grill master says... How are you? You're, You're a cutie. cutie. So does that mean he could take me home to your mom? Just kidding. I don't you don't want to meet his mom. Thanks. You're adorbs yourself. Oh, God, no. Thanks. You're adorbs yourself. You're adorbs. And you know what's funny is he probably thinks that I'm talking like some crazy valley girl. However, anyone who knows my true personality knows that I'm just a dork. Uh, Flappy Jack? Fatty Jack. Fatty Jack. <laughs> that was the one who asked you about your piercings. Oh. He said, oh, okay, ha ha. Yeah, don't respond. Well, nope, nope, that was not. Yep, you didn't try that was and engage not... me in conversation. Yeah, you did not try to engage conversation. Redonkulous. All right, let's see. I'm really having a hard time holding in this poop. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> I don't know which room is Desiree's up there. It's I. All right. Could just be a fart, but I'm not willing really to see. beautiful. I know I'm young, but don't let age be that thing that defines me. You'll be rather surprised. Read my profile and at least chat and see how that goes. Well, you obviously didn't read my profile. Why would I read yours if you didn't read mine? Wait, how do you know he didn't read mine? He never mentioned happy puppies or anything else in your profile. He copied and pasted this. He's not reading your profile. Oh. He's just clicking. He's probably sent this exact same message to 55 other girls tonight. I am so glad you're here to filter out these men. Because <laughs> I'd be the person that would be like, oh, yeah, I totally get it. I'll read your profile. Sure. Why is Zeus advertising on plenty of fish? Because they're they connected. Competitors? Zeus is, uh, I think, was created by the same people. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what chat has to say. Come on, chat. Hi. 
Uh, he says, I couldn't find my Tiny Tim account. <laughs> Look well. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, that was me being a nid. It's I'm a good mouth to see you on, <laughs> Tim. We gotta have. We have to have you back. We have to have you back on the show. I'm pretty sure he can hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he says, uh, oh no, ha, <laughs> lol, no, <laughs> you look like Elvis. My bad. <laughs> no, I'm not putting on my bad. Yeah, and you would have to type it the way I would, which would be M-U-H bad. My bad. Mm. <laughs> That's a little too far for me. I don't even think my fingers can type like that. <laughs> I use proper grammar crookers. Grillmaster says, well, thank you, but you're the hottie, so... What are you doing? W- what no, it's just... what you doing. That's what that is. What, what you, you doing? doing? Um, <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> Talking to you. Talking <laughs> to you. And putting you on blast on a radio show? Just kidding. Uh, Talking to you. <laughs> that's it with three with an ellipsis so what are you beep, doing beep, beep. um obviously chatting online with people on a dating profile <laughs> website thing let's see right. who seven users have viewed your profile let's see who viewed you 22 men saw you on the meet me feature and want to meet you click to view hey. Hey. you want to meet me they want to meet you <laughs> <laughs> This is my bloodline. <laughs> I'm flattered. Oh, upgrade now to see who they are. Oh, fuck you. I'm not paying for shit. We don't pay for free shit. <laughs> A.K.A. We've already talked about my financial situation. All right. Okay. I can't afford your $14 a month. Oh, oh you got a new one. Pure Ooh. Country Man 24. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Who is your football team? The Eagles. I don't really like to talk about it. The Eagles. Dot, dot, dot. I don't really like to talk about it. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> they did decent this year. How tall are you? Oh, I forgot to answer about how tall you are. <laughs> small. Extra small. Uh, okay, so I, I don't know size. if my sister has told any of you viewers. She's a half an inch away from being a midget. I, my entire life was told that I was five feet tall. After I had my daughter, I was measured, my height was measured at the WIC office. And I was told that I am 4'10 and a half. So I've been lied to my entire life. And just a little jab, I'm half an inch away from legally being able to declare myself as a midget. So I am half an inch away from getting my handicap placard and awesome parking. (laughs) (laughs) Which I would totally take advantage of that. Oh, Kyle in Vegas totally replied to you again. Who's Kyle in Vegas? Oh, haha. Thank you. What's your name? Mine's Mario. Oh. No, he's Italian. Oh. Italiano dude. Do you think it's true? Do you want to see his profile? Let's look at his profile. Do you think Italian guys have big ding dongs? Italian I don't know stallions? Why I said it like that. <laughs> ding dongs. <laughs> ding dongs, because I'm in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on this show. Right. It's not oh, bad looking if that's cute. really him. Mm-hmm. He could be a little bit crazy, but. He looks like he could be slightly. He might have an ego problem. <laughs> well, he is Italian. Six one. Holy <laughs> crap! Holy balls! <laughs> yeah, that stall. Oh. You're tall, bro. My name is Sam. Thanks for that. You're almost <laughs> two feet taller than I am. <laughs> Holy shit! Six one, my face would hit his belly button. I think. <laughs> I think you could give him a blowjob standing <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what a hurdle! We're talking about standing blowjobs. <laughs> All right, Grillmaster says, uh, talking to you. Hello, well. 
Okay, we're done with that guy. Yep, that did not continue the conversation. No, no. Can we? No, we can't hear shit. No, I can't hear a damn thing. We got headphones on. We can't. Hear I'm nothing. hoping that if my child starts crying, I might hear her. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And she's a lover. She's a lover. Not a fire. She's not a fire either. She's not a fire or on fire like the house in our neighborhood was. <laughs> Boom. Just like that. He said, I did read yours. I just got typing in, forgot to mention happy puppies. Oh, oh no. You backtracked no, you after back I called you on your shit. And now you're saying happy puppies because you just read my profile. What do you, you don't even have to no, reply. No. Just so you know, you don't have to reply. Yeah, you no. do not have to reply. We talked about this last week as well. When you are dating online and you have one of these profiles and somebody messages you, you do not have to reply. I am stealing these words from Dan Savage. I totally give him credit for this. It's just like being in a bar. You make eye contact with a lot of people. You don't have conversation with every person you make eye contact with. <laughs> and you don't breathe heavy into the microphone either. Oh, look, he continued the conversation. Uh-oh. He's interested. He is. He says, come on, scroll down faster. Work tomorrow? Uh, nope. Nope. You barbecuing? <laughs> nope. He is a grill master. Why? Uh-oh. I don't want to have to get ready. <laughs> That you can is make my, it a group date and I'll go with you. That is my ultimate least favorite part of going on a date is having to get ready because being a mom has made me lazy. Ponytail, no makeup, wearing, have mm -hmm. an ass. I get ready for work and that's about it. Uh, let's see. I'm almost 6'2. <sighs> I'm only 4 foot 10. If you want to text me, it inches. may be easier. No, I don't know you like that. You don't know. I don't know you, man. You don't get my phone number like that, man. And I don't give out my number that quick on the first chat. That's like fucking on the first date, and I don't do that no more. I used to. I learned my lesson. That's like fucking on the first date. Oh, and just so y'all all know, do that anymore. I may have been a hoe before, but I don't fucking tell me not a hoe no mo. Right, I ain't a hoe no mo. Having a child kind of changes that in you. Yeah, it does a little bit. Yeah. So what else you got going on in your life? It's nine o'clock. It's almost time for us to do catch ups anyway. So that's what we do it in the last hour of this show is we do catch ups. I like catch up. What? I like mustard and mayonnaise. Um, so this is where we talk I about what's mustard. going on in our lives. And since we've spent the last like 85 days together, we could totally do a catch up together. Ah, cool. Um, so a house in our neighborhood burnt down. Yes. I mean, it didn't burn all the way down. It just no, burnt it half. burnt. It burnt pretty much all the way down. Uh, well, like you... the inside is completely burnt. The, I think the only part of didn't burn down means it didn't fall down. Yeah. Is pretty toasted. Um, but we they all happened to be there. They were just cleaning up the fire crew when we came home today. And um, so we pull up next to them. We're like, you know, is there anything we can do for you? Because we know these guys. My son plays with their kids all the time. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, is there anything we can do? Can we help with anything? Do you need anything? Do you have a place to stay tonight? And they were like, yes, we do. You know, we're good. Thank you. And and then we went, we had to park somewhere else because we couldn't get to our house because the fire truck and all the hot firemen were in the way. Oh my God. So then we walked to the house and as we're walking back, we crossed them on the street again and we're like, are you sure there isn't anything you need? I'm, I told him I'm off on weekends. She's off during the week. Is there anything you guys need help with at all? And, uh, they were like, no, but thank you so much. There've been a lot of people who've been assholes. And I'm like, What? Like, how can you possibly be an asshole to someone whose home just burned to the ground? Have you absolutely no love in your heart for other people? I can get it if they were like, well, I was watching you light them fireworks off inside your garage, but I am completely positive that that was not the situation today. She's typing. I am. Intently. You're fired. 
You can't take anything anyone serious says seriously if they pop themselves afterwards. You're fired. I fucked your brother. <laughs> I fucked I... your mother. <laughs> what? My mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I have AIDS. No? Too serious? Let me guess. Now you want to kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so we, we responded that's back. That's true. If I don't like him, I can always block him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Neo. Just don't be surprised if you get blocked, because I'm picky. Do you know what your at is on Facebook? Nope. I think it's, uh, I can look it up real quick from my app. Yeah, look it up on your phone. my app. phone. On your phone. I'm going to look it up on my phone. More. Uh, more. Cancel. More. Ah, cancel. I'm not good at this. Uh, what part do I look at? Uh, it's probably about? under about, yeah. Let's see. No, it's probably in your settings. Yeah, but my contact stuff would be in here too. Education, skills, places you've lived, address. Here we go. Boom. Okay. I am forward slash a name. Is that one? It's two. Yeah. 27. Yep. Okay. Send. Send reply. That's very smart. He's very, very smart. Hey, if you don't like me, you can block me, and that's true. That's a very smart conversation. Um. Is that Xanax? You sharing some Xanny bars? <laughs> Feel the love. Share them. All right, let's see. New messages. But uh, any hoot. So we're doing catch up. Yes, we're doing catch up. And so the, the house, house burnt down. down. And so apparently people have been assholes to these guys. Now I think they're renters. I don't think they own that house. We're in a gated community with a really terrible HOA. Um, and so we, the it, it's very possible that the um, uh, HOA tattletales drove by and were like, you're going to have to paint your garage door. <laughs> That's not the right color. Black is not the color your house is supposed to be. Black twisted metal is not the appropriate <laughs> front door for your garage. You're not supposed to store stuff in there. That's why it burnt down. Um, I am flirting for you. Thanks. Why is this happening? Because you love me. I guess. And I'd like to see you with a nice guy. I know a couple of nice guys that I'd really like to hook you up with, unfortunately. They only like big chicks? No, 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 no. Oh. No. Uh, I just... I'm all smack in my lips. And yeah, lips. and I don't know if you would like them. They don't like lips They're smack. usually like super nerdy. and But I'm telling you, I know you say you've dated nerdy guys before, but they've only been like kind of nerdy, not like full-on D&D gamer nerds. Um, I dated a guy once that played WoW. That's like that, being in a relationship with yourself. Yes, it is. But that does not mean you've dated a nerd. That just means you've dated an asshole. Good point. <laughs> I did shit in his boxers, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, God. We went to a barbecue today. Had a lot of fun. I met some lesbians that I like quite ow, a bit. Ow. But I like lesbians, generally speaking. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we've done today. We went to Savers 50% off, yo. Oh. Hell yeah, yo. I got like six sleepers for my daughter. Her, I got her a dress, a pair of jeans. I got myself this entire outfit that I'm wearing. I spent $17. Yeah, I got a new pair of pants, which you're going to like, Kelly Egg, because they really show off my booty, and a new shirt. Yes, they do. I can attest to that. Um, I got two new CDs, although they're not like... Anything crazy, they're children's songs. Right, one of them is oh, what? Yeah, so I got... Learning for babies. Yeah, I got a shirt, pants, two CDs, and Secretary on DVD. Because I needed a second copy, because I can't find my first one. And I don't think you've seen it, and it's a movie I think you need to see. So, this dude said... This is okay, one sec. Cool. 
I don't think I have any friend requests. Yeah, well, you might be able to chat without a friend request, but I Yeah, don't... but it would pop up on my screen, too. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. It... Are you coming in now? Yay! What up, girl? Yeah, girl. Make my rolling appearance. <sighs> With your new blonde Rolling hair. like a gangster. I love your new blonde hair, by the way. You like it? Apparently blondes really do have more fun, and I apologize to everybody for my appearance. Nobody I think cares. You look hot. Nobody can see past your titties. Haven't I told slightly you this? Slightly hungover. Slightly hungover again? It's Memorial no, Day weekend. Not again. Know. You were slightly <laughs> hungover at the last show. Was I? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> she listens. She can say. <laughs> I don't even remember. This is how chaotic my life is. I don't even remember the last time I was hungover, and it was just last weekend or the two weeks ago was it uh i don't remember this smells good thanks what hazelnut. Kind of, mm, hazelnut vape so my day has been exciting yeah <laughs> yeah well, uh, my night was super exciting we apparently walked in on some exciting stuff yeah, yeah. so but my night was epic we <laughs> epic i went <coughs> sorry i just had an asthma attack so I'm a little wheezy, winded, and my throat hurts. Ouch. Um, I went to meet a guy that I met off of Plenty of Fuckery. <laughs> We're on Plenty of Fuckery right now. Oh, I just deleted my profile. Did you? Yeah, it only took I've a week. That. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I think I think I lasted a full week, and then I couldn't hang. Yeah. He's, he's six foot tall, and he's a Patriots fan. What, what's he look like? Let me see. Isn't Tom Brady, wasn't he on the Patriots? And didn't he deflate the balls? Balls. Balls. Mario, his last name's Zelda. Now I have to date him. <laughs> so, you want to talk we, about nerds? Yeah, he's totally not your type. He's a white country boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> he even owns a cowboy hat. Ew. So, we went to um meet this gentleman at the Hard Rock. Well... He didn't show, but while His we were there, um, we got a free entry and um, open bar passes mm -hmm. at Body English. Ooh, nice. You got into Body English? Yeah, for free and drank for free for two hours. <laughs> How the hell did you pull that off? I have talent. I don't even know. Some guy walked up to me Facebook and was like, for like two hey. days or what? Sorry. Gave us uh, passes and was like, here you go and have a good time. And I mean, not that I couldn't have come, but, you know. Yeah, and we call. saw um, DJ Polly D. Like, Is he any good? Well, Cause isn't everybody he thinks so. Polly from I Jersey have, Shore? I yeah. think so. I could have two out. shits less. Yeah. Let me tell you, when everybody started screaming, I was like, here, have my spot. Because I was like, like, I had a good spot to view him from. And I was like, here, go ahead. Everybody else is way more excited than me. I could You're give, like, meh. Uh, yeah, I was like, electronic music, meh. <laughs> and yeah, I'm totally not all like. I completely agree with that. So I could have gave two shits less about Mr. Polly D. But everybody else was like, oh, that's Polly D, Polly D, Polly D. And I was like, Ugh. I'm drunk. I'd be like, where's Denzel up in this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she likes him tall and dark. All right. So, yeah, Polly D does nothing for back me. My men, and I, I don't like, like that kind of music. So we stayed until our open bar was closed. And then we went, went about our merry way. We went and stopped by BUW Karaoke. How was that? Um, well, we got there kind of pretty late. Like, <laughs> so there Everybody was, like, was drunk and already sang everything? Yeah, and there was like eight people there. Oh. Um, one being my ex. Um, and he was there with somebody else that's for a later story oh i had to tell her all about herself today <laughs> she claimed it you know she's it's somebody they're just friends mm -hmm. but i know that she has a thing for him mm -hmm. and you can't be my friend and try to wiggle your way in on my ex yeah no that's like yeah. homie hopping and that's completely right. illegal <laughs> right and in i'm like all states. i told her all about herself <laughs> homie hopping is illegal like, in all states yes, it Bitch, is. he will never want to fuck you ever she doesn't have an ass big enough oh Oh, no, he's a tits man, isn't he? Yeah, and she definitely doesn't have those. Mm. Have you ever heard that song, uh, Ass Like That? Yes. I got one. I wish I had one. Yeah. Or I got tits, tits and ass, so I guess I'm like, you could take your pick, whatever you like. I, I I reserve that the right to let you select your favorite option. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't have either option. <coughs> 
And then um, after that, we went to a swingers party. I am not a swinger. Let me tell you. No. Just you right are not. I am Which not is why I looked at you all surprisedly. Uh, all crooked like. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Where? <laughs> I didn't uh, anticipate to swing. I just went to go check it out. Because I wanted to actually see the house to see if it was uh, viable for shooting. You know. Mm-hmm. So I went to see the house. Let me tell you. One reason I don't like swinger parties as of this moment is because it smells like fish as soon as you walk up <laughs> in that bitch. <laughs> yeah. It tuna a good one. stinks. I was like, this is not appropriate. I had to be outside. <laughs> I was like, and one guy just, I hadn't been there 18 seconds before some guy tried to cling on to me with his Peter. Like, his, he was fully dressed. His penis was just sticking out of his pants. And he, like, <laughs> what the fuck? And he, like, like a thumb just yeah. sticking out of a glove? <laughs> yeah. Is that what was going on? And he ran up to me and tried to, like, touch like, me with his penis. Put your picker penis. away. And I was like, oh, no, homie. It's not that kind of party. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch <laughs> and then I was like, but it is. <laughs> and then I was like, I got to go outside now. Like, it smells please. like fish, and he just touched me with his penis. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like either one of those fishy cock so. that's gross fishy <laughs> cock yeah that's no that's I'll what cock like... should smell like afterwards no 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 right? oh hey right. girl hey then you sound like a, a gay person <laughs> <laughs> i would just respond and say right. what up girl <laughs> <laughs> no you want to always say hey boo no, no what up boo this hey, dude boo. is a douchebag hey, boo, boo. and i can't it. tell if he's the short one or not because he's the same dude same two dudes in all these pictures <laughs> right. yeah i hate that i was like look i hang out with one friend dude, and he that looks, looks like, like he could be my brother or my like, twin that looks like no it doesn't i think it does no it doesn't anyway is it over the mic. Yeah. You don't have to respond to that. It's gone. I ate it all. I know. We ate it all. Yeah, I even ate the little tit- bitty crumbs in the <laughs> bottom oh of the bag. The, crumb. the titty crumbs. Oh, this is the chili and lime one. This was not that it's good. It's not that good. I like yeah, teriyaki it wasn't as good. better. I like peppered peppered beef jerky. I like the teriyaki one, too. Or mm. the um, just regular beef jerky. Do so, I smell popcorn? Probably. We smelled popcorn when we came in, this joint. I just food i need food i and, and you know what i need i need a fucking hamburger we just had hamburgers <laughs> no I with, want the bun. One with the bun on it <laughs> are you on a diet well yeah. she's been eating with me because the diabetes diabetes. Uh, diabetes. So, so you know it's low carb low sugar diet until you get it under control and then you can start adding shit back in and so you know it's been no bread no buns, no, you know, anything. And oh, so we, we have, have carb both. wraps. We have carb wraps. Six net carbs in every wrap. <laughs> Gross. Um, yeah. Bah. They're actually, they're not that bad. They're Ew. really not too bad. Yeah. If you put food inside of them, if you eat it by itself, it tastes like paper. <laughs> <laughs> but if you I'm put sure food inside of it. It's a step away from paper. Yeah. No, they're pretty decent. Um. Yeah, if you are homeless and are starving to death. Or from a third world country. Or if you have diabetes. Or <laughs> di- you have to say diabetes. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's been on the diet with me just because she wants to lose some of the baby weight and she also, you know, wants to be supportive of me and my Wilford Brimley. Because like it's, it's it. more fun. Supportive. Supportive, oh my supportive, God. Supportive, like you were going to say it in quotes. So she wants to be supportive. <laughs> but this bitch ate a goddamn chocolate chip cookie in front of me, so I don't know how supportive she can be. Was it, what is it? I couldn't help it. There was a big tray of them and there was a lot of them and they were just so soft. What do they call that? You can have um, chocolate chip cookies, but they have to be made with the dark chocolate. Caro chip? Yeah, carob chips are with dark dark, 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 dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. The kind of chocolate where you have to. Dark chocolate. Ermagerd, dark chocolate. Ermagerd. Dark chocolate. Welcome to my herm. Oh, oh, shit balls. I thought Sweet Cheeks decided to come, no? No. No, oh, okay. No, uh, I think she's still in California. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So we had a house burn down. We got to see firemen. House burn down? In our neighborhood, one of the house, the, oh. a house like right on the corner, right We've next to our house. We've seen lots of first responders. That we sure have right. today. <laughs> seen a lot of first responders. Yeah. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> I like a man in uniform. Uh, I'll mm. pass. Yeah. 
I'm she like, was oh. basically cat calling them as we were driving past them. Oh, I totally called them. Window was all the way down, and I went, they're all fucking hot, aren't they? <laughs> and the one we were driving past, he was like, <laughs> and I was like, no, for real, though. Can no, I get No, for real, number? real. Like, right now, right now, I need your number, number. I'm not. I'm like, I'm going to so make you lose guy, your job. <laughs> this guy is messaging me on Facebook, the guy the plenty from of fish Plenty guy. of Fish. Okay. Um, Ooh, you gave him your Facebook already? Yeah, because I could block him if I don't like him. Oh, oh that's a good um, you're right, genius. Right. Except Actually, that was his, his idea. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want to give him my Facebook. Douche. And then he was like, you can block me if you don't like me. I well, was no, like, Because he asked point. for her phone number to text. And she was like, I don't give my phone number out on the um with the first chat. It's like fucking on the first date. And I don't do that anymore. And he's right. like, wow, that, that was anymore. an out there response. <laughs> and he goes, we can Facebook. You can only I have me. a copy and paste response. I'm like, I've had my number since I was 17. And I, if yeah. you're a crazy stalker, I'll have to kill you. Mm-hmm. So... I don't get my phone phone number out on on Plenty of Fish. Yeah. See, and I'm the same way. I've had my phone number since I was 16. I don't want to give that out to people. Right? Yeah. Because then... uh, Like, it's bad enough that my ex knows my number. (laughs) Except for now, Verizon has made it a lot easier to block people from calling you. Yeah, so is AT&T. It's just like a one-click block thing. Right. But uh, you need to block their their existence. They call your number and it's like, (laughs) this number has been disconnected. (laughs) We're no longer in service. Uh, is that why so I get he, that message when I call you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a kitty cat. Oh, he's gone. No, nope. and he. I can't. have cats. I like cats. Yeah, but cat men are weird. They are awesome and no. weird. They're weird. weird. They are weird. Yeah, Didn't, there's no awesome in there. Sometimes Didn't it's no good orgasm weird. guy have it's cats? Creepy. Uh, yeah, but he wasn't no orgasm guy. He was more like when he came, he hyperventilated. Ew. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <laughs> no, you would have liked him. He didn't orgasm all that often, so there wasn't a whole lot of juice going on. Right. I didn't really have. Yeah, to... but that's not any fun. That's like the whole point. Though... Yeah, but don't you like not messy sex? Uh, no, I like that part of messy sex. Like... Look, this guy is the first so one he... to mention happy puppies. Happy He's puppies. He's a what? keeper. <sighs> we need to go on. A Why date. are you so easy? Yeah. Well, because he. I'm well, like, nope. Right. Nope. Nope. Oh, it's because he's. <laughs> He's just your molester. He's a year younger than you and only a couple of inches taller. Oh, let me see. <laughs> nope. Okay. No. He's horrible at taking selfies, which means he's a down-to-earth guy. Oh, look at you, an optimist. Mm-hmm. Oh. He's looking, he's looking for a relationship, though. Oh, yeah, no, that's sad. Yeah. Oh, you're not looking for a relationship? No, just I'm someone very, to date. I'm very, yeah, I'm not looking to marry anybody. But so he messaged me and said, uh, so you're 410, show me a 410 pick. Do you have any 410 picks? I said, how do I take a 410 pick? You could stand next to me. <laughs> I'm six feet. You're That's 410. That's true. We could do that. Not the 410 pick. That yeah. That's a 410 pick. That's a 410 pick. I didn't know that there was four, such a thing as a 410 pick. Like a... Well, like you gotta show, show, you gotta how, show how, you how, how tall you are. Yeah. We'll take it in front of the doorway so he has reference. This is an average doorway, this is an Amazon, and this is me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Perfect reference. Point. Exactly. Well, how tall is he? He's 6'2". Okay, so he'll almost know what it's like to stand next to you. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll see. He hasn't messaged me back when I said, LOL, how do I take a 410 pick? Well, I'll turn around. You'll just get my butt because I look a hot mess. Well, he's not trying to date so, you. Ass right? like that. <laughs> <Right. laughs> or she could just stand in front of me and be like... <laughs> head, in your, head in your tits? I'll look up. You can look down. My boobs are hitting my belly button right now. I don't even have a bra. This is the, the longest hangover ever. This is like when hangovers go bad. Good night, Casey. One of our old uh, fans was listening. Oh. Yay. Good night. Yay. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks is I have I still have small tits even after having a kid, but now my small tits hang to my belly button. <laughs> yeah. Now she's got golf balls and pantyhose. I've got like African <laughs> African flapjack titties. <laughs> flapjack titties. Oh god, Doxy's turning over in her bed right, right now. Right now she's super <laughs> upset about what that just transpired. <laughs> I have got to go um do something with my throat. Okay. Before I hack all up in this. What's my tea? Oh no, thank you. I, okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Neither one of us backwashes, just so you I'll know. Be right here. 
I do. We'll do right here. Actually. So neither one of those guys really created much of a next line in the conversation. So we're just I waiting. I, I really like Pure Country Guy. I think you should go on a date. He seems pretty cute. Yeah, it is. Um, I should check and make sure my daughter's still breathing. Yeah, she's go been check very on her. quiet. Okay. She's, it's also past her bedtime, so she's probably asleep. She's asleep for dinner. Or night. stolen. Somebody stole her while we were sitting right here. Uh, so ketchups. Callie and I went back to California this week. Um, which I'm really sad about. I miss you, Boo Boo. Um, I've never in my life called him Boo Boo until just now. She's very much asleep. Yay, a sleeping. She's a sleeping. Uh, not much else going on really oh, for he me. She said, "I mean, a full shot of you." Oh. So basically, you want to see how average I am. <laughs> average. This is a right now, right now shot. We can do that. Later, as soon as, later. Yeah, we'll do right now, right now, later, later. Right. You know, you know, not right now, right now, but maybe later, later. Later, later. Uh, those of you who were listening to the music during our breaks probably caught that I have a couple of comedy albums on my iTunes. <laughs> a little bit of Bellingval, a little bit of Gabriel Iglesias. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> you know I'm Gabriel Iglesias, right? <laughs> <laughs> Flavi. I love Flavi. My favorite is when he does his uh, mm. impression of Matthew McConaughey. Hey. Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. I love Matthew McConaughey. Hey. All right. He's a sexy motherfucker. Yes, he is. Did you watch True Detective Come last season when he was on window. it? No. <laughs> that's Melissa Etheridge and that's a lesbian I song. You know that, right? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing either, so how about that? Yeah, you're not as bad as it could be. Uh, he just sent a photo. Oh, let's check this out. Oh, crap. Then he's going to know I read his message. Fuck. Because then I'm going to have to take a picture. I hope he didn't send a penis pic because I'm a show the world. Oh, it's a picture of his cat. <laughs> <laughs> nice it's not pussy. a penis picture. It's the pussy picture. <laughs> it's a p- it, well, it's not a vagina picture, but yeah. Men love vagina pictures. If the if women sent un uh requested vagina pictures to men, the world would just explode. Hey look, I really like this guy for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't ask for nudie pics, so please don't ask me for nudie pics. All right. I don't wanna see your wrinkly ass balls. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Sorry, I'm Callie. Guy, just so you know, I'm flirting with guys online for my sister. It's for my sister. Yeah, they are a girl's job. Yeah. Balls. I said I agree, but I'm enjoying all of the tongue-in-cheek ball jokes. You said it was okay to send right. that, and he goes, "Yeah, I bet." And then I said, "Balls are fun," and then you said, "Yeah, they're a girl's job." Ha ha ha. Or he said that, and you're saying, "Ha ha 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 ha." I wish you could. T- I wish there was a way to type a creepy mouth breathing sound. There is a way to. How type. do you type that? You type it like this. Here, hold on. Let me pull it up. Let me pull up a typey thing here. Typey. Give me a blank typey. You type is it up like this. Is that guy not wearing pants, or are those flesh colored pants? <laughs> I think those are flesh colored <laughs> <Okay>. pants. <laughs> <laughs> it very much looks like he's just walking around in a t-shirt. Creepy. And some chonies. Mouth breathing sounds. With notes of nasal. Salad? Nasal phlegm. That's how you type it. (laughs) Creepy mouth breathing sounds with notes of nasal phlegm. So, but then I'm obviously a chat room nerd. I've been chatting since chat rooms were cool. I remember going into chat rooms on AOL when it was still dial-up. I will have you to know that I... Which one? That one? Yeah. (laughs) Pin it? You can pin that? Yeah, I have my Pinterest app on here. That's awesome. (laughs) So I could totally pin his picture (laughs) to my things everyone should know board. (laughs) Uh, If you want to follow me on Pinterest, uh, feel free to. It's uh, at Poetry Sue. Um, so feel free to follow me there. 
I, I think I had one once upon a time for the show, but I don't. The show has one. It's at Sin City Bounty. We're at Sin City Bounty everywhere. So if you want to follow us wherever, feel free to. Uh, let's see. No, no new messages. You're going to have to download the app for your phone. That guy looks fun. Which guy? With the headband on. That guy? Yeah. That's an Irish colors headband, too. Exactly. And that's a whole bunch of bottles of whiskey back there. Yep. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, if any of these guys ever found out that we were doing this on a show, they would... They uh, would probably not be happy about right. it. He looks like he could be borderline douchebag, and I know that guy. Yeah? Yep. He's got a... I've worked with him before. Open nostrils. There's Italiano, dude. Why is he messaging you here? I don't know. Weirdo. Yeah. I blocked you, by the way, on Facebook. It's probably wasting. Uh, Where did you go? Whoop. Sorry. Sorry. Working on getting that pick for you. Going to do a comparison shot. With a friend. With a friend. Well, it might be nice if I spelled that properly. Instead I mean, of walk ring, work ring. <laughs> Is that like a cock ring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a walk ring. I am a walk ring. But you have to have an email address for all Is of these Is that a cock things. ring of the Asian variety? A, a walk, walk ring. ring. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet of the night. <laughs> Yes, Tim Pinnell, True Detective, was fucking amazing. Last season was amazing. This season looks like it's going to be amazing. Oh, I only have 3% left. I can't. I can't. No tweeting. Tweet I can't tweet, tweet her that. Tweet. But I'm going to tweet her it later. And it'll make Toxie roll over in her bed. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so what have you got coming up? You know what you should talk about? Do you want to talk about the salon? Sure. Tell them where to go. Yeah, absolutely. So I work at a salon called the Best Little Hair House in Vegas. No, we don't give you happy endings, but we do give you happy hair. So oh, that's a cute slogan. Do you guys say that? No, but I do. Um, I also say come get pretty with me instead get... of come get shitty with me. Mm -hmm. uh, so getting pretty with it. Nah, 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 nah. Prim hey. Primping ain't easy. Um, we need all the business we can get. We're a relatively new salon. Um, we've been in our location for less than a year. Um, we are on the northeast corner of Buffalo and Alta. Uh, and we do any services. We have a nail girl there that, uh, the only thing she doesn't do is acrylics because they stink. And I completely agree. Plus they're horrible for your nails. Um, I put in extensions, I do balayage highlights, I do ombres, I do... The only thing I don't do are dreads, that's just because I don't know how to do them, but I can do braids, I can do anything else, so... You can do free. wave. Yes, I, I actually know how to do two different types of extensions. I can beat them in and I can tape them in. The only thing is we don't carry hair at the salon, you do have to purchase your own hair and then we install it. Uh, I also do Brazilian blowouts. Parts. Right. I also do Brazilian blowouts, not Brazilian waxes. No hoo ha ha. No, no. hoo. No hot wax hoo has. Right. Uh, haircuts. Anything you can think of. So yeah. Know anyone that needs to get pretty? Send them my way. Oh, you can't do this one. I've dated this guy. Yeah. Yep. Actually, my name's not Chloe, and I don't, you didn't read my profile because you didn't tell me happy puppy. No, and I have totally dated this guy. Yeah? Is he rich? No. Okay, then no. He tries okay. to pretend that he is, but he is not. And he's a total doucher. Doucher! This he guy's kinda a He kind of looks like it. Yeah, he's a doucher. He's one of the few he looks nerds. He's like a womanizer. He's one of the few nerds who's a total douchebag. It does happen. It does happen. They get a job, they start making some money, suddenly they think they can be a douchebag. Like, money does not equate to allowances of douchebaggery. I really want some mashed cauliflower with sour cream and bacon and cheese and ranch in it. We can do that when we get home. We have all of those things. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> and we have, we have frozen cauliflower, so it'll only take like five, six minutes to um, get it unfrozen. You know what I just realized? 
microwave. What? I'm not going to be able to buckle my daughter into her car seat with that sleep sack on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're not. Oh. Huh. <laughs> you're going to have to take her out of her sleep sack. Me too. It's refreshing. <laughs> My daughter makes that sound a lot. That's how we communicate. That's how I know she's happy. But there's a lot more spit involved with hers. Yeah, because she's teething right now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hook him up on your Facebook, too, so you can chat with him there. So you can start giving him your personality. <laughs> he should be afraid. I didn't click on that one. Because I'm on weird. The other one. You are total weird. I am very weird. And you know what? I need a weirdo. I need someone who can be serious and take care of shit, but doesn't take life too seriously. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, you need to be responsible, but you also need to not be so responsible that you can't laugh about things and have a good time. What just flashed? I don't know. That was weird. Was the aliens outside? are coming for us. Then... If you think I'm too weird, you can block me. LOL. Is that thunder? That was fucking lightning I just saw. That's thunder happening out there right now. Oh, shit, son. I'll drive home. No, you won't. Because if we got into an accident while you were driving my car, I'd never forgive you. <laughs> but if yeah. I get into an accident while I'm driving my car, it's not that bad. Alrighty. Well, um, I think that's it for the show. Stay tuned next week. Uh, we're going to... We're going to end the show at 9.26? Yeah. And we don't have anything else to talk about. We're just going to end up stretching this out and make it boring. And Because we're not constrained by uh, uh, anything anymore, we can stop it whenever we want. Ha! So, uh, yeah, we're going to make that the end of the show. Uh, it's been fabulous uh, with you guys sitting through this semi-boring evening. It was just the two of us most of the night, and that's okay with us. Uh, we will update you all next week with uh, her things. She probably won't be here next week, but... Um, I might be. You maybe she will. Depends. Um, so we'll keep you updated on her dating stuff. We're going to hopefully hook Desiree up soon, too, and get her out there. And They say the best way to get over an old guy is to get under a new one. How? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sierra. And Chloe. Wishing you all a good night. And remember... Fuck often.